Alan, where are we going? We're going to the finest, most expensive outdoor shop in the UK. What are we buying? Decathlon. You'll have to wait and see. Welcome to Italy. <laughs> you can't see that <clears throat> bit there because it's a bit overexposed, but we are pretty much just right on the Lake Garda, is it? Yeah. Oh. Of the Alls Water version of Lake Garda, <laughs> and it's blowing an absolute gale, Tilsley. It's, um, we've just been to. That's Hayes outdoors with <laughs> <laughs> We've just been, we went to Decathlon on the way up. We bought a kayak. My mum said she had one in our garage, and we've got it out. And it's got a couple of holes in it, but it turns out the weight limit isn't quite sufficient enough for Sarah's weight. No, the thing is, we got it out. Attempted to pump it up with a pump that didn't fit it, but yeah, it works. So went and bought Oz life jackets and a proper pump. Pumped it up properly, and it went down. And then we thought, oh, it doesn't even hold our weight, so we've bought a new one. We watched uh, a couple on YouTube called Gareth and Zoe, and uh, they've got quite a lot of subscribers. And the the, the good down to earth people, and they did a review of this in Itawit Itawi Three, I think it was called. It's three hundred quid plus the oars and jackets and all that stuff, but it looked really decent. So we just want to have a little mess around, but eventually we want to start camping on islands, on lakes and locks and stuff like that, so we have picked the windiest day to get into kayaking, so there's a bloody good chance. We won't. We won't, yeah. <laughs> Which saves us getting it out of the bag, it saves us packing it away as well. But anyway, this site looks mega, so we're, uh, we're going to have our brew and uh, go and check it out. Yep. Chin a little bit. The day hasn't quite gone according to plan mm -hmm. because we decided we were going to come here, do a little bit of relaxing, but we were going to we were going to do some walking into Pooley Bridge. We're going to get on the kayak. Kayak was like the first thing we were going to do. We've, how long have we been here now? Many hours. A good few hours, and all we've managed to do is sample the steak burger from the restaurants. There's a few people who have tried to get on the lake and boats and stand up paddle boards and what have you and you see them getting blown round like rag dolls but there's a couple of tents like there's a van down the, the way there they've gone out for the day by the look of it and their awning is ripped to shreds and there's another tent further down the big thick steel poles that you get on them probably not steel but just bent and snapped they're in a right mess but this site is massive this is definitely one to keep in the to visit list in the future. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of forks on it. What are you getting out of our new bag there, Sarah? Your down jacket, because even though it's mostly about 18 degrees, it's freezing. <laughs> You get to the arse out the way we had to see. Ooh, look at that split action. What, my arse crack? We decided to go up here. Sun's come out. 
wind's still howling but we've pumped the boat up we bought it we're gonna use it and now we're gonna sink aren't we Beb? hopefully not because I can't swim so yeah I said I can't swim might be the last thing you ever see of us in fact I might yeah. never see do you see this what just me you can swim I forgot the wind muffler for the camera, but this is us out up Watty. Right, we have been and got the wind muffler type cheap piece of foam crap for the GoPro from the van. We have also switched positions. Sarah's much weaker than I am. I'm the creative one. You're the you're the brawn. Get rowing wench. I'm filming here, love. I haven't got time to row. This is what happens when you take a bit of a risk. You get repaid. It's a bit brisk. It's a little bit choppy, but wind's calm right down now. And as you can see, the sky's still pretty blue. And the views are pretty awesome as well. I mean, you won't be able to see down that way properly, but all the way down there, the bottom of all the water. So you've got you got Hallenfeld to the left, Placefeld behind it, and then towards the right, you've, you've got the Helvellyn range. Down the bottom, you've got like hard sop and all that. And then this one here, I don't know where I'm pointing right. <laughs> these these fells here. One's called Arthur's Seat, we slept on there years ago as well in a tent in our Shangri-La Go Light 3 it was Absolutely bloody freezing out here. And sat on this bench in front of the the lake, taking in the view for a good couple of hours now after being out on the boat today. Good few beers in now. Shirley's gone to collect the pizza from uh, the on site pe well, the on site cafe. But uh, we're, we're fast losing the, the will to sit outside. We're like all down jacketed up and everything. The wind's blowing a fucking gale. Here she comes. Pizza time. Ready for the grand reveal? Peanut okay. butter jelly time. Oh. <clears throat> oh. I need to increase the uh, aperture on this. Mm. Looks alright. Mm -hmm. I'm going for a wee. I like it. Okay. Verdict on the pizza. It. Not as good as Coniston. That's as good as I can. That's as good as I can give you. It's a frozen pizza base. It might even be a frozen pizza. I don't think it's frozen pizza. But convenience wins over taste any day. So it was alright.
you might have seen our fire. What I mean is, I may have put some footage of our fire, and it looked like a friggin' Bunsen burner from the uh, <laughs> from the classroom in school, because mm. the wind was that strong. It was just absolutely feeding it with uh, oxygen, and it was then this started to shed off bloody hot embers and what have you. So we had to put it out. What, fifteen minutes after we put it out? Put it on. Fifteen minutes after we put it out with hot water, loads of water, the wind dis- disappeared. It's absolute piss take, and the wind's just died. Now gone. Perfect for. Perfect for a nice campfire. And then you learn your lesson, don't you? So, anyway, we're gonna chill out for a little bit now. It's probably about half nine-ish. Twenty-five is it? to ten. Twenty-five to ten, yeah. We don't really go to sleep at We're normally asleep time. by now, yeah. yeah. We're uh, rock and roll kids today. So, um, see you in the morning. Bye. Oh, Italia. The sausage butties pretty much conclude the end of our trip. It's been extremely lazy this morning. I've done nothing about making the most of the morning. <laughs> the wind picked up again, so we decided we're not going to do anything, but now it's dropped again. We have just met uh, a family who we follow each other on Instagram called Cali Diaries. And uh, we can't remember your names already. You're not long gone. It was Alan, Jessica, and I think it was Lisa, but... Honest to God, you have to tell me your name about 15 times before I remember it. So I don't well, remember that one's name. Don't know why. But, uh, very nice people. Yeah. It's always nice to meet someone that makes it easy to meet them because we're socially inept. We are. And we do apologise if we were weird because uh, it doesn't happen to us very often that people come over and say, Oh, you're the matrix. Cause mm. <laughs> so we're going to have our sausage balms now. Yes, balms, not buns, rolls or baps or whatever. Balms. Taking the view for a little bit and bugger off home. And the Cali Diaries on Instagram, if you actually follow it, it it's really good. She, um, she does all tips on cooking in the van, savings, trips, etc, etc. So mm. go give them a follow. And they've got a great van. Uh-huh. We decided not to go home just yet. Mm. Come to look at an old historic shed. Someone's new leggings. So we've decided to sell the camper van, sell the house, and we're thinking of buying this gaff. <laughs> not too shabby. Might need a little bit of renovation. It's a doer upper. <laughs> Grotty in this camp cafe, isn't it, love? Sarah's gone for a morbid mooch around what could potentially be a very, very old graveyard because it's in the grounds of Lowther Castle. It's just kind of
can't change some people. So I decided to come to the graveyard within Lauda Castle grounds because I am a morbid human being. But as graveyards go for this. So this is the tube from the other side. I've just walked up the steps and it looked like there was someone looking in, out at me, so I shit myself and I've come back down the stairs. Which really wasn't someone but I'm sure it was literally a headstone or something, but it looked like a face. So I ran back <laughs> down the steps, I've just, oh my god, I've proper pooped my pants. <laughs> was it morbid enough for you? It was good, so some of the lalthas are buried in there. Mm. And then when we were reading at the castle, it says um, it was on about the Earl of Longsdale, Cecil, and his wife Grace. And they're both buried in there as well. Let's go home.